Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have a really exciting video. So this is actually an unboxing of Your Creative Studio's monthly stationery box. So I had heard of Your Creative Studio before, never purchased anything, um, but they actually reached out to me and asked if they could send me one of their monthly vintage journaling stationery boxes um, just to do an unboxing on YouTube and that's it. And so I agreed. So I'm gonna be, of course, unboxing this in the first part of the video. And then at the end, I'm gonna give you some of my honest thoughts and opinions about this stationary box. Um, the only thing I'll say up front, I'll give you know a little bit more detail at the end, but your creative studio is US based. Um, the boxes are $38 and there are different monthly themes. So I believe that this month is like a vintage butterfly theme. I mean, every single month is like a vintage journaling kind of thing, um, which I know my YouTube channel is majority planning content. I try to keep it that way, but I love vintage journaling. It is a huge part of my like paper crafty life. I definitely wanna start filming more journaling videos. Um, I did one recently, but if you follow me on Instagram, then you are very aware of how obsessed I am with like vintage collage journaling. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, so this month was butterfly themed and let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. And then, like I said, if you stick around to the end, I will kind of go over my thoughts and how I feel about it. So the first thing I see here, your creative studio. So this looks like their own, like their own product, which I think it's awesome. And we've got some butterfly sticky notes. These are really cute and they are sticky notes, but I would probably use them just like as ephemera and just tape them down like in some type of collage journal spread. And I will also say that to kind of like prep for this or maybe not necessarily prep but I did watch some your creative studio unboxings online um they have a lot of fans like they have a lot of fans but I'll get into that more at the end so here this says dream butterfly these look like those like acetate stickers I would assume these are really pretty and you know I will say I actually really love butterflies butterflies is just something just like something that I really like I don't know <laughs> That sounds weird, but we all have our things and I am a fan of butterflies. So yeah, these are actually really pretty. You can see they're kind of more, like I actually really love the colors of these, um, like the purples and the blues. And let me put these back in here, but I'm gonna grab one just to make sure that I'm right. So you can see that it's clear and I would assume, yep, it is a sticker. So it's almost like a pet. It kind of reminds me of a pet tape in that way. Um, so these are stickers. Really, really like those. Um, let's see here. I don't even know what to open next. Like there's all this stuff. Okay, so I'll pick this. So this looks like, hopefully I'm in frame. Ugh. I keep trying new things with my camera angle because I didn't, I used to do like an overhead shot like straight down all the time and I didn't like it. So I've been switching things up. So here we've got a butterfly stamp. And I think, so I gotta be honest, I, I obviously love stamps, but I use wood mounted like rubber stamps. That's how I buy them. So I've never had any stamps like this. I think, oh yeah, I think you mount these to an acrylic block. So personally, I've never tried the acrylic block thing, but I think that's what this is. But either way, like I feel like honestly, whoops, I feel like honestly I could probably just hold it and use it that way. So we've got this and this looks like it was made by them too. Just, just kind of looking at the packaging, that looks like it was made by them. Um, so then we've got this here and let's see, this is obviously another stamp. Gosh, I don't want to like rip it. <laughs> there we go. So I thought, oh, Cool. Okay. Okay. Love this. So here is the next rubber stamp. Very detailed, beautiful butterfly. This I'm obsessed with. So funny enough, this little butterfly, just the, like the way that it looks, I want a tattoo of a butterfly like this, a little tiny one, but I really love this one. This little tiny stamp. I absolutely love that one. So that one I'm super excited about that little mini butterfly. So that is it. We got those rubber stamps there. So the next thing I'll grab 
These are these Mo Card vintage labels. Okay, so they're kind of just like those like gummed vintage labels. I don't know why I said gummed. I think I'm just used to the LCN ones. But um, yeah, pretty straightforward, just different ephemera pieces. I use stuff like this all the time in my journaling. You can see there's kind of different colors and different shades. And yeah, to me, this is something that's definitely like a staple in journal spreads. So this here, it says, fly to you. You are so special to me. My heart flutters. What is this? Book friends. Okay, so it says book friends. Okay, so this is what this is. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it says book friends. So it makes me wonder if it's a bookmark somehow. I'm not exactly sure, but it kind of looks like a bookmark and it does say book friends. So that makes me wonder if that's a bookmark. So you got that. And you'll notice obviously that everything is butterfly themed. So the next thing we have here, Loft Book Collection Series. So this looks like some paper some like vintage paper just like you know vintage style paper and you obviously get different types which is really nice of course like paper is something that I use all the time especially book paper in my journal spread so there's that I really wish I was paying more attention in the beginning to make sure that I was fully in frame with everything that I'm showing because I'm trying all these new camera angles um, so this is, again, your creative studio. I really like that. And these are transparent stickers, which is really nice. So yeah, they're like printed on transparent matte sticker paper, which is my favorite. I, I much prefer transparent stickers over anything else. You've got these beautiful vintage butterflies. Wow, so they, you get a lot in this box. Like there's still so much stuff in here. Oh my gosh, I don't even know, okay. So this looks like some mulberry paper, maybe. I, I'm never like the best, whoops. I never know like exactly what paper is called, but this is definitely like a textured, just like a textured fibrous kind of paper is what it feels like. You can see it's got some leaves in there. I would maybe go as far to assume that it's potentially handmade paper. There's no label on it or anything. This could definitely be handmade paper. So you can kind of rip that up and use that in your journaling. So the next little thing I'll pull out, this little memo card. I wonder if these are maybe like stickers or something. Okay, yeah, I think they are. So these actually aren't transparent though, if you can see. These are more of, they have like that white background, which you could cut around them. You could cut around them, but just you've got different butterflies. These are really pretty. I really like butterflies. Ooh, I like this one a little neutral black and white. Um, I totally just dropped one. Whoops, and I dropped another. So I assume these are stickers though. A couple of them are bent, but let's see. Yeah, okay, so that is a sticker. And you could cut off that white background if you wanted to, or you could just leave it there. Those are pretty cute. Um, and then still got more to go. Okay, so these are stamps, and I think I've actually seen these before. Not these exact ones, but just like, I think I have some of these. Like, I've gotten some in Happy Mail and stuff, but these kind of faux, these like faux postage stamps is what they are. Can I, am I just like clumsy today? Because I swear I'm throwing everything around. So you can see these are like faux postage stamps. I imagine that these are stickers as well. And of course, these are all kind of like a butterfly theme which is super cute. So let's grab one and I'll peel the corner. Stamps are always a little bit harder to peel the corner of because I usually have a pretty good method for peeling stickers, which is just kind of taking my finger and like going like this and it'll pop open. But because stamps are, have a like wavy edge, it's not as easy. Doing this off camera. Okay, here we go. So yeah. There we go. Stickers, so these are like faux postage stamp stickers, which is super cute. And again, I've mentioned this, but there's a lot, everything's butterfly themed. Okay, so there's two more items left and these both look to be your creative studio. This is paper ephemera. Okay, this, these look really nice. This looks really nice. 
Okay, so these are actually pretty thick. These are probably like cardstock thickness um, versus like the paper I showed earlier, which was like regular paper. And obviously there's different, different butterfly designs, different cutouts. These are super cute. Especially if you like a, um, like a vintage aesthetic. I think this box is perfect. If that is like, you know, your style of journaling and stuff, which I, I like vintage. I definitely started out vintage, um, with like very much this type of theme. Um, as I kind of transitioned into discovering like Japanese stationery brands, Freckles Tea, like kind of all those, like those, that realm of brands. I'm trying to think like Pion and Freckles Tea and Narette, like as I kind of discovered those brands, my, um, my style changed, I guess a little bit, but I still love the vintage. So I still do like vintage spreads, but honestly, some of my journal spreads end up looking a little more modern. Like my most recent video, you probably will know what I mean. Um, and then these are just papers. So this is really nice. Again, these beautiful, beautiful butterfly designs and papers, and you could use these for so much. Um, so that is it. That is everything that came in this month's box. And I think this was February's box, by the way. Um, I think this was February's box. So now that I have opened everything and you've gotten a chance to see it, I took a couple notes because like I said, I was watching. Um, so obviously I didn't open my box. Um, I didn't open my box until just now because I was going to unbox it, you know, on, on camera. But I did watch a number of Your Creative Studio unboxings on YouTube and browsed through their Instagram, browsed through their website, kind of just did my research um, to get a little more info about the brand so I could relay that to you if you see this box and you think it might be something you're interested in. Um, so I took some notes and there's a couple things I want to say. So the first impression that I get, and this is not just from this box, but watching multiple, is she really puts a lot of care into her themes. And that I really like. I like, because initially I think I thought that it was just like random vintage journaling supplies, which would have been fine, of course. Um, but I realized that she really puts a lot of care into her themes. So she'll have like, this one's like a butterfly theme or it'll be like a stag theme or like, you know, botanical theme. So I like how she's really putting that thought and that care into like picking everything that she's picking for the box. So that is like A plus because you could get a lot of spreads. And that's another thing. You can do a lot of spreads with the amount of stuff that you get in this box, you get a lot you could do so many pages, so many journal spreads. So that's always really nice. Um, another thought that I had, so to be completely honest, give my completely honest thoughts. I did think initially, um, when I just knew about the brand, I did think that their boxes were all AliExpress stuff. That was what I thought. Um, I see now that I have one that I'm incorrect and that really was nice for me to see. That was a pleasant surprise. Um, to be honest, I would say that her boxes are probably 50% AliExpress and 50% her own stuff and her own designs. And you can tell by the branding. And I'm really, really happy to see that she has so many of her own designs in here. And I think she sells her own stuff just individually on her website as well. Um, but these things with the like Asian labels. I'm not exactly sure if it's Chinese or what. Um, I think it is. I think it's kanji. Is this, is this, I don't know. Um, but the Mo card, Mo card is an, a sign of an AliExpress item. You can kind of just tell by the labels. Um, and even just the nature of the product. I feel like I'm very versed with AliExpress, especially journal supplies. When I first started vintage journaling, I got everything on AliExpress. I just went crazy and I bought so much. So I have a lot of AliExpress journal supplies. So a lot of this type of stuff I've just seen before. Um, so I, I pretty much know exactly what in here is from AliExpress. And then obviously the stuff that has her label is from her. Um, I gotta say, I, I don't personally shop as much on AliExpress anymore. Um, for, then that's just because like I was saying, I really got into those kind of Japanese higher end stationary brands. 
which is such a bad habit because it's like expensive stuff, but I just adore the brands. And so my personal journaling kind of veered off in that direction. But because the box is really only half AliExpress and half her own stuff, it makes the value way better. So that is a huge positive. Um, pretty much what I would say to you, stuff on AliExpress is around a dollar a piece. So like every pack is around a dollar a piece on AliExpress. So if you want a ton of journal supplies and you don't have a lot of money to spend, you can probably get more on AliExpress. If you just search vintage journal supplies, you can pick up a ton of stuff for a very cheap price. However, if you don't have the time to search AliExpress and browse around and pick things out, and you want a more curated box that is themed and kind of already put together for you and includes some AliExpress items, but also some of her own items, then I would say this would be a really good box for you. So I just, you know, of course, want to point that out um, about, you know, the AliExpress stuff that I noticed. Um, and then the very last thing that I'll say was... Like I said, I was kind of doing my research into her shop so I could give as honest as a review as possible. Um, like I said, they just sent me this box to unbox and that is it. Um, so I'm not like a rep for the brand or anything. So I wanted to give a completely, you know, not that I, not that I don't give honest reviews when I do rep for brands because I am always completely honest about how I feel about something. Um, but anyways, what I was saying, I was reading a lot of the comments on her Instagram page again just to get a feel for the brand like that's just something I do just simply to get get feedback and get an idea like what what do people feel what are people saying what are people thinking you know um and the first thing I noticed was she has a ton of fans both in her comments and on YouTube that was very evident people love this box people want this box this box is a very sought after item and I think it sells out every month. So it is a very popular thing. So she definitely has a lot of fans. Um, I did see some comments about shipping issues. Obviously I can't personally speak on that because I had I have no experience being a consumer and, and dealing with shipping issues. Um, but I will say that sometimes when I read comments about shipping issues, sometimes I do take it with a grain of salt knowing what I know about small businesses. I have been in the planner community for five, six years at this point, which means I've been shopping with small businesses for that long, which means that I am used to three to four week processing times. I'm used to shipping times. I'm used to USPS, you know, losing stuff and, and delaying things and whatever. So I do have to say some people that aren't used to small businesses like I am or someone in this community, um, some people are impatient. Some people are incredibly impatient. Some people expect Amazon shipping times or some people simply don't read updates. So if the shop gives an update, hey, there's delays out of our control, the box is gonna ship a little later this month. And then you've got people commenting going, where's my box? It hasn't shipped yet, oh my God, oh my God. And it's like, okay, you know, you could immediately read that comment and think negatively. But I guess the point I'm trying to make it is, you know, those could be valid, but they also could just be people being people. You know what I'm saying? So I hope that makes sense. So I do tend to take like shipping comments with a grain of salt because you never know like the true situation. Like someone could be like, my order hasn't shipped yet. And really they placed it two hours ago and they're expecting Amazon. Like you just don't know. Um, but I, so I do think it's really important to give small businesses grace, especially in these kind of COVID times. Um, but what was a little more concerning to me was a number of comments I saw from people saying they've emailed, it's been weeks, they've gotten no response, they've tried to call, they've tried to contact customer service, and no one's reached back out to them. Now, I understand small businesses more than most, I really think I do, even though I don't have one, um, but it sounds like she might just be growing. It sounds like her, her brand is growing and people really want this and she might be overwhelmed. I don't know how small her team is. So I would maybe recommend if you're really growing that much, it, getting some customer service help um, because I did see quite a few comments from people saying that they have attempted to reach out to them and they've gotten no response. Um, so again, those were just kind of my main thoughts. Everything that I wanted to point out about this box. But like I said, it was beautiful, it was lovely, very curated. I'm super excited to use this mini stamp for some reason. I don't know why, I just love it. Um, and yeah, I really like how it's 
I really like how it's so themed, you know, and you can create so many journal spreads with it. So that is it for my Your Creative Studio unboxing. I will leave all of her links down below. I'm going to link to her Instagram. I'm also going to link to the website. Um, on the website, you can purchase some things individually or you can go to the subscription section if you're interested in the box. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys in my next video. I have a ton of videos planned. And I know I say that a lot every time I do a YouTube hiatus, but this time I legitimately have a list of five YouTube videos that I need to film. This is one of the five. So expect a lot coming in the, in the, in the weeks coming up. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.